An exciting day for the Mizzou softball program and the entire University of Missouri as Larissa Anderson officially takes over as the head coach of the Tiger softball program. And I'm joined by Coach Anderson right now. First of all, welcome. It's a beautiful day and a, a good day to welcome you here to the University of Missouri. I'm so glad to be here. It's beautiful meeting everybody. It's been tremendous. You've had a, a storied career as, as a softball coach, primarily at Hofstra. Now you make this move to the SEC and the University of Missouri. What was it that attracted you to Mizzou? Really, it started with the leadership. Um, Jim Sterk was, uh, was amazing um, when he came into Long Island and, and getting to meet with him and, and a lot of su support staff. It, that's really what attracted me to it. I mean, it's in the SEC, you're playing in the best conference in the country, so I know the potential's there, but really making sure that the philosophy's aligned um, which is what I was really intrigued for, which is why I came on campus. You obviously have a lot of great resources to work with here. We're in your beautiful clubhouse at the almost brand new Mizzou Stadium. Um, when you look at resources, facilities, all that kind of stuff, did that attract you as well? And, and what do you see here that can help you build a great program? It's the, the potential that this program has. I mean, you have the resources that you're able to recruit anybody in the country to be able to play in such a beautiful stadium in, in the best conference in the country but it's the potential that this program has and, and it's played at the highest level. It's gone to the World Series a number of times and it's, it's seen what we could do right now and being able to get ourselves back there. You mentioned the SEC. I mean, we're in it here, so, so we see it every single day and, and, and maybe take it for granted sometimes, but uh, from your perspective, just entering the league, what does SEC softball mean to the rest of the country when you look at it from the outside? It's the TV exposure. It's being in everyone's living room every single weekend. It's, it's being able to tap into that population and to be able to recruit anybody you want because they're on TV every single weekend. So that's what I've had to recruit against at Hofstra in trying to get someone to understand um, why choose one school over another. Now I'm in that, in that chair and being able to provide that to the student athletes so their parents can watch them every single weekend, playing at the highest level. All 13 teams got to the NCAA tournament. So you're playing at that competitive schedule to give yourself an opportunity to go to the World Series, you know, right out of the chute because of your schedule. Let's talk a little bit more about you and, and your background. Um, spent the majority of your career at Hofstra, first as, as an assistant and then as the head coach. Uh, what did you learn there over the years? How did you see yourself developing as a coach as you went along? You know, I was mentored by a tremendous mentor, Bill Edwards, who was a Hall of Fame coach, National Hall of Famer. Um, the softball stadium's named after him. He's a Hall of Famer at Hofstra. So he really mentored me along the way in teaching me that athletics is a byproduct of all the lifetime lessons that you teach. So we don't talk about winning and losing and, and just the fundamentals. It's what athletics is teaching you that you can't learn in the classroom. So it's applying those things every single day to our student athletes and, and teaching them how to compete, how to overcome adversity. Our game is all about failure. So we have to understand that you're going to fail seven out of ten times and you could be, still be a Hall of Famer. So it's applying that to every day so then by the time that our players graduate, they're going to be very successful in the real world. So it's implementing those things and getting the players to buy in and understand that it, there's a bigger picture than just picking up a ground ball. Where did your love of softball begin? Oh, hometown, Lake George, New York. That's where I was born and raised. Um, played Little League, started with t-ball and, and worked my way up. I was a three-sport athlete, played volleyball, was a downhill ski racer, and then softball. And whatever sport I played at the time, was my favorite sport. But then I realized that I had the ability to play collegiately. So it was just, you know, finding the right situation. Um, absolutely fell in love with the game because of what the game provided to me. Taught me how to overcome adversity and compete all the time. And you could strike out four times, but you could still contribute to the outcome of the game. So it's, it's teaching those things. I was a a junkie and constantly around the around the game. Um, I fell in love with a baseball coach, so we really have that baseball tie, and uh, you know just continually working towards that game. Yeah, your husband, a, a minor league baseball coach, so I'm sure the uh, the diamond sports run deep in your family. Are there many conversations around the dinner table that don't at least touch on baseball or softball at some point? All the time. I, you know, not only down around the dinner table, but evaluating evaluating each other's game. Uh, continually and you know he will watch our team practice I go and watch his team play and constantly just giving each other feedback which is great because there's so much overlap within our two sports. You mentioned the word teaching a moment ago and, and that's why all, all coaches do this I've, I've gathered over the years and um, you've got a great reputation with pitchers Olivia Galati is a name that uh, from recent years that a lot of people may know uh, an All-American at Hofstra. What are your philosophies in teaching pitching and helping young pitchers get better and develop? It's one, knowing how to teach it, and I think it's really valuable that being a head coach that I can teach pitching. 
where I will be in the bullpen every single day, being able to communicate to my pitchers and developing them. So really that's the, the foundation. But making sure that you're getting the most out of every individual, because not all pitchers are the same. They're not all built the same. Olivia Galati has to throw different than Chelsea Thomas did. So making sure that we're utilizing them to the best of their ability and maximizing their potential. And I think that's what's, what's special about my skill set is that I can develop a pitcher from throwing minimal miles per hour and being able to develop them to be, all of a sudden become an All-American um, because I'm able to break that skill down and continue to progress them and then take them to the next level. I know you haven't been able to get too deep in the weeds, but you know you've got a lot coming back here at Missouri from a, an NCAA tournament team, a top 24 RPI team from a year ago in the toughest league in the land. So when you look at what you have to work with, even if it's just on the surface at this point, how do you like what you have coming back next year and what will be your first season here? The first thing that you said that they competed in the NCAA tournament, I mean, th that's huge because they have that experience, they have that playoff experience, and they have experience playing at a high level. I mean, they're playing NCAA tournament games every single weekend, playing in their conference schedule. So it's just, it's utilizing that ability and continue to grow and build on what they already can do well. I know they're very, very talented. They're a great group of young ladies. They have so much potential and it's gonna be my job to make every individual the best they possibly can be and put them together with a great team system where they're confident, they have an unbelievable culture and that they truly believe that they're better than where they finished this past season. What kind of culture do you hope to instill overall as you build your program here? Family culture and understanding that we're all in this together that we have a mission, that we have a standard that we're going to live up to, that we're going to hold each other to that standard, and, and it starts with me making sure that I'm holding them to that standard, and accountability, that there's going to be a way that Mizzou softball runs their program, and there's going to be a standard that we live to every single day, and making sure that we, we continue to follow that standard. And we're not going to talk about wins and losses, even though we all want to win, but it's making sure that we're doing all those little things so we have a shot at that big thing. I follow you on Twitter. You know, I saw you already tweeted recently, off and running. I mean, you're, you're, you're jumping headfirst into this. So what's next for you after the introductions and everything, and you really dive in to your first couple of days on the job? We gotta get out recruiting. Um, immediately gotta get out and, and shake a bunch of hands and let them know that Larissa Anderson is the new head softball coach at Mizzou. And you know, making sure that I'm evaluating all the players that are coming into this program, introducing myself to them, and then make sure that I have a staff. Um, I'm, I'm going to be bringing someone from Hofstra uh, joining our staff here, and then I'm going to be looking to fill a couple other positions. But just making sure that we're bringing in the right people to, um, so they understand what our mission is going to be. Well, a lot of work ahead. I'm sure you are looking forward to it and will enjoy it. Congratulations on the Thank position. You. I can't wait to work with you. Thank you. Me too. That's Larissa Anderson, Mizzou's new head softball coach, taking over in 2018 here at the University of Missouri.